Hi, and welcome back to Wig Studio One. I'm Eileen, the Crazy Wig Lady, and welcome to a fun collaboration of low-density wigs. You already know Marlene from Marlene's Wig and Chat Studio, as well as she's a reviewer here on the Wig Studio One channel, and she is also the lead administrator of our private Facebook group. And speaking of that, if you haven't joined us there, please do, Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group. There was a member in that Facebook group that asked us to do this collaboration and show you some low-density styles, so we each chose five from our personal collections to show you today. Now, I want to uh, do a little disclaimer here. What might seem like really low density to me might not seem like really low density to you. I prefer permatees. You know that if you've ever seen my videos. I like big hair. So when I get something that's low density, in my opinion, you might not think it's quite as low density. So please keep that in mind as we go through this video. These are just our opinions of some low density styles we have in our personal collections. This is not a wig review of these. This is just a quick overview of five. We could have chosen lots more. So if you like this, leave us some comments below and maybe we'll do a part two. If you see a wig that you'd like to know more about, you can either find a full video here on the Wig Studio One YouTube channel or on each of our personal YouTube channels, so be sure to check them out there. Okay, let's get started and look at some fun, low-density styles. Let's get started. I want to remind you first, I have a 21 and a quarter inch head circumference and my face is nine inches from hairline to chin. So if that'll show you how some of these styles might fit on you. This is Renee of Paris Nico in Ice Blonde. Now, you know, when we talk about low density, usually the first thing that comes to mind is, oh, it must have a mono top, a lace front, those kind of features. Not always true. This has neither. This does not have a lace front and it doesn't have a mono top. It is a basic cap wig. So sometimes that doesn't always hold true. Sometimes a basic cap can be low density, as in this case. Very sleek. It's these bangs, three and 3.25 inch bang. The crown's 11 inches down, 11 down, and has that short two inch nape. This is Renee of Paris Nico. This is Gabor Paradox in Vanilla Mist. Another sleek style with bangs. I kind of pull, swept my bangs over to the side. They're four and a half inches. The crown on this is eight and a quarter. The sides are six and a half. The back is eight and has a three and a half inch nape. Really, really low density, beautiful mono top, like I said, and lace front. I used a heat styling tool to bump my bangs under just a little. This is Gabor Paradox. Okay, this is Beltress Cafe Chic and Sugar Cookie with Hazelnut. Now, in my opinion, this is probably one of the most low density wigs I have in my personal collection. This is heat friendly fibers. It has a left mono part and a lace front. The bang on this one is eight inches. The sides are nine, the back's 10, and it has a three and a half inch nape. Super sleek, very sleek to the head, Bob. Face framing layers, Beltress Cafe Chic. This is Raquel Welch, Play It Straight and Glaze Strawberry. Now, I don't have a ton of Raquel Welch wigs that I feel like are all that low density. They tend to always have a lot of fibers. This one, however, is definitely on more of the low density side, so I wanted you to have a look at it. Left mono part and lace front. The front is seven on Play It Straight. The crown is eight and a half, sides are six, back is five and a half, and has that five inch nape. So it has a little bit of longer nape. You get a little flip here, but this is a nice lower density style. This is Ellen Villa Blues in Silver Blonde Rooted. Now this is super, super low density. It's petite average cap, as you know. No lace front, has a button crown, 
mono right there. Uh, I've done a full review on this. You'll, uh, if you want to see it, you can see it on my channel. Also, like I said, there's just a little mono place right there in the crown, but this does not have a lace front or anything. It is very, very sleek, low density. The front three and a half, sides four and a half, crown down seven and a half, and it has a 2.75 inch nape. Again, my face is nine inches from hairline to chin, showing you where this might fit on you. But yes, very, very sleek, very low density. Okay, guys, that's uh, the five I had to show you. So let's have a look and see what Marlene has for us. Thank you so much, Eileen. I'm going to have to start off with the same disclaimer as Eileen just mentioned. These are, this is what I consider light density and we all have different perspective on what we consider a lighter or a heavier density, more realistic density. Please bear that in mind that because it's a light density for me, it may not be a light density for you. So I'm going to start out with Dalgona 16 in the color Ice Lavender Latte. The sides on Dalgona 16 are 10 to 14 inches. We have a nape of eight and a half and we have a back of 16 inches. Delgona has a side part and a beautiful lace front. I feel that Delgona, despite its length and despite the curls that may, or the waves that give it that appearance of a little bit more volume, it is light density and we have minimal, if any, permities. I think that of all, out of all of my wigs, my lightest density are definitely Beltress. This is Mega Mono by Ellen Villa in the color Hot Mocha Mix. On Mega Mono, we have a full monofilament top and we have a lace front. These are traditional synthetic fibers while Dalgona was heat friendly fibers. On Mega Mono, we have a front of nine inches. We have a crown of 13 inches. The sides are 11 inches and the nape is 11 and three quarters. Mega Mono has no permatease. It has a very, very, well, it's light density. That's why we have it here. We have some really pretty feminine waves. And of course it can be styled in so many different ways because of the length. And fairly new to the wig scene, we have Hudson by Aesthetica in the color 812. Hudson has a full monofilament top and we have a lace front. This is a really, really nice piece, so much so that I've got it in two colors. The measurements on Hudson are, we have a bang of 10 inches. And the, another nice thing about Hudson is that we have some really pretty layers here. We have the sides are 11 inches, the crown is 18 inches, and the nape is eight and a half. We don't have, we have a little bit of permatease, but it's almost nothing, it's barely there. And we have a really nice light density. This is Henry Margot Candice in the color 10613GR, very light density. I think in this length, this is probably the lightest density that I have. If we put to the side the uh, Beltress styles that are all heat friendly, Candice has traditional fibers. I think all of my wigs are traditional fibers except for the first one, Dalgona. And this one is very, very light density. Candace doesn't even weigh four ounces. It's under four ounces. So you know that it's a light density. On the measurements, we have a bang of 10 inches. We have a nape of eight inches and we have the back of 13 inches. We have a center part and we have a lace front.
And last, but certainly not least, we have Courtney by John Renault in the color 8 RH14. This is the longest piece that I have. Courtney has a hand-tied cap, a full monofilament top, and a lace front. No permatease whatsoever. The lightest density in a long wig, if that's what you're looking for. Long, comfortable, and very light density. Really, Courtney, I have not seen another wig with this length that has the light density that Courtney has. We have a bang of 10 and a half. Then we have the crown and the sides at 11 inches, and we have a nape of 13 and a half. Really pretty. I'm going to add to that, even though it has a hand-tied cap, I think the hand-tied cap runs on the larger side of average. I have it really uh, cinched in to accommodate my 21.75 circumference. I have an almost an eight inches from hairline to chin. So you can kind of gauge how the wigs will fall on you. Thank you, Eileen, for asking me to join you in this collaboration. At Wig Studio One, we appreciate you spending this time with us. I hope you've enjoyed this review, this mini review of 10 light density pieces in short styles, medium styles, and long styles. We'll probably need a part two on this. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day, and we'll see you next time. Bye.